You guys are watching TNC Vids, and please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks. Hey guys, I just wanted to um, spice up my video a little bit and um, show you a little um, bit of pictures I have. I have some funny pictures that I got off an app on my iPad. Um, I just want to put those at the beginning of the video, so I'm going to make a slide of those, and then the video will start. Um, so just be aware of that, and again, comment, rate, and subscribe. Also, guys, I will be putting a picture of the app that I got these pictures from. So that will be the first picture, um, and then I'll get into the other pictures. Um, again, hope you enjoy the video, and comment, rate, and subscribe. Hey guys, what's going on? This is TNC Vids, and today I'm going to be doing um, sort of a review. Um, I'm not actually going to be showing it. I'm going to be showing this in a, uh, another video later. Um, but I'm going to be doing sort of like a review on the Bluetooth wireless and keyboard um, thing from Sony um, for PlayStation 3. Um... So we can get started. Um, it comes with the keyboard and this little short cord here um, to hook it up to your PS3. Um, it here it is. It's pretty small um, and it's really thin too. Um, it attaches to your um, PS3 or your not your PS3 your your controller. Um, like this, it, it's kind of hard to show this, um, this clip goes around right here, oops, and then it goes around the bottom, like this, um, so then your controller looks like, like this, with this thing on it, um, to me it's kind of annoying to play with it on there, just like holding it. It adds a little weight, but it's not too bad. Also, you can't really see your triggers and stuff. Um, but it does give you access to your cord. And here, I just can show you it wraps around the back. Um, I mean, it doesn't affect really your hands or anything. It's just a lot heavier, and it's, um, it's not as easy to play with. Um... Also, this button still works. It just pushes down onto the one below it. Um, I have your start button, your select button. These aren't um, rubberized like they are on the controller. They are um, plastic coated. So, also, if you noticed, um, there are these extra buttons up at the top. The orange and well, they're not extra buttons. They're um, or the orange and blue buttons, if you can see them, like, um, up there we have the three-fourths. They may have, like, a blue parenthesis. We have this little paragraph symbol. We have that little symbol. That one, that one, that one. Um, these are really cool for, um, putting clan tags in, like, um, Modern Warfare 2. And, um, Black Ops doesn't allow, like, pretty much all the characters that are on this thing. Um, but Modern Warfare 2 allows most of them. Like, a good one to do um, is alternating the paragraph symbol in this one. So go that one, that one, that one, that one. Or you can go all this one, all that one, or whatever. Um, you have your three-fourths, one-half. You have one-fourth up there. You got, like, this little square thing that's kind of cool in a, a cent sign. Um, 
not really sure what that is. I think it's like pound or something in like European or whatever. Um, not very good on my currency, but um, so yeah, those are some cool features. You have also these buttons down here. That's kind of cool. Um, you have a it's exactly it's a QWERTY keyboard. Um, you have a space bar. You have a backspace. It's a lot easier to type. That's pretty much the purpose of this thing. You also have these shortcut buttons. This button will bring you right to your friends. Um, this button actually allows you to use your finger and move across here. Like, um, if you know the keyboard that you regularly use to type, like using the joystick and then clicking every letter, this, if you move your finger across, it will actually move to the, like, the letter um, you end up on. Like, let's say I'm starting here. I'm swiping across. It would end up on K. Um, it's actually really cool. Um, and this will bring you right to your messages. So... Um, pretty cool features on there. You have your shift button, your return button, caps lock, sh another shift button, and escape. This button's also neat for um, just exiting right out of your um, menu on your PS3 thing. Instead of reaching all the way down here and hitting this, you can just hit this up here. So, that's pretty cool. Um, it doesn't, the only thing I'm not very impressed about it is that it doesn't hold a charge very long. Um... Also, since if you're one of the people like me that doesn't like to um, have it on the key the controller while you're using it, you can just like have it sitting off to the side if it's charged. But if it's not charged, plug it into your PS3. Um, so that's pretty much it, guys. This was the Sony wireless keyboard um, review. Uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe for more. I'll be posting more videos soon. Thanks for watching.